to display human effort. I think that whether or not people are successful, their earnest attempts to communicate with one another is beautiful, and that's what I aim to, to focus on. I'm working at, on relationships and communication. I like to see the beauty in awkward misunderstandings between people. When when people are coming together and their spiky edges intersect, uh, these kind of marvelous moments occur. I think it's really important that the dancers are actively learning. Put a performer in the spotlight and you, you coach them and draw something out of them which is larger than what they expected to find. Mm -hmm. And then you let them see that they've discovered that. And then you ask them to repeat that. Mm -hmm. So when you look at the performers, you feel as if they live inside of it and are generating and own the material that they're speaking their own experiences. I, I think about the chicken fights actually a lot because I saw a lot of them in, in Asia. You know, the chicken is shaken up, thrown into the ring, and it's just freaking out. It's jumping, you know what I mean? There's something horrible about it, but it's also um, amazing to see the, the, the truthful interactions, you know? So with the dancers sometimes, you know, uh, we will, I'll teach them a very meticulous movement, and we'll develop it, and we'll rehearse it, and rehearse it, and rehearse it. And I'll try to shake them up, have them do it backwards, have them um, do it while someone else is pushing them, um, so that it becomes impossible for them to do it the way they were expecting to. And you see their effort, and sometimes they'll get, there'll be frustration or difficulty or challenges, and at that moment, this heightened reality occurs. And then I try to capture that. So when people are watching a performance, they feel as if they're seeing something truly uh, unfolding. Done a lot of, I spent a lot of time um, on commissions and, and working abroad in, um, in, in cultures that connect with their dance directly with their communities. Mm -hmm. I trained in a Balinese dance um, for a year in, in Bali, Indonesia, working with a dance master. And the greatest impact on me was looking at the performance context, looking at the ways that the performer becomes another type of entity, the transformations. So when a Balinese dancer is representing an animal, they really believe that they are manifesting the spirit of that animal. Uh, and seeing somebody truly identify with what they're becoming left a great impact on me. So one of the things which I try to achieve in my work is to really let myself open up into becoming another type of being. And I know that sounds abstract, but I believe that audience members can smell earnestness and honest intentions. Uh, and I really try to, with sincerity, open up to becoming another type of thing and let people see that process. <laughs> <laughs> 